Hey guys, it's Mia, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my testimony and how I turned my life over to Jesus Christ and how it has completely and utterly changed my life. It has flipped my world upside down. I don't think of the world the same way I did a couple months ago. Once I started reading God's Word, the Bible, and ever since I put my faith in Jesus Christ and ever since I've surrendered my life to Him, I am free. <laughs> like, I now know, like, why I'm here in this life and none of these dumb worldly things that used to concern me matters anymore. So obviously a big change has happened in my life and I just wanted to share with you guys what I went through and how I was saved by Jesus Christ. Okay, um, let's start with my background. Um, if you don't know me, hello, my name is Mia. I am going to be 18 by the time this video posts. My birthday is January 7th. I can't believe I'm going to be an adult. It's crazy. I grew up in a Christian family. You know, we went to church, but I never had a relationship with Jesus or God. Like, I never read the Bible ever, and I tried to pray at night, but like, I went like years without praying at all. I just forgot about it. Didn't really concerned me. I only cared about worldly things like what other people think about me, how I look, what my future is going to be like, stressing and worrying like am I on the right path? Ever since I was little I've just always had so much anxiety and when I was around eight years old I was diagnosed with OCD and anxiety and I got really really depressed. I got so many panic attacks, literally panic attacks 24 seven every day. I would not leave my house. I was terrified to leave my house. I wouldn't even go to my grandparents' house to spend the night. I felt like stuck like inside myself and I just, it was so bad at a point I felt like I just, I can't even describe the feeling I just was like trapped inside myself, like trapped inside like a bubble. And I just wanted to be set free. And there was a point where I told my parents that like, like I'm done. Like, is my life gonna be like this forever? Like, I can't live my life like this. And I had to go to a therapist like three times a week. I got put on medication and I had my seasons of times that got a little better and I could function like a normal person and other times it was just right back to how things used to be and years went by and I developed an eating disorder and at the beginning of the year I was just diagnosed with anorexia and it consumed my life. I no longer cared about anything other than what I ate, what I looked like, working out. Literally all of my goals and priorities and values in life thrown away. I didn't care about anything. I would do anything to just get skinny and have like the perfect body and I was nasty and rude to my family. I pushed them away. I got in fights and arguments with them every day. Um, I pushed all my friends away. I, I didn't hang out with any of my friends for like three years. This consumed my life, my thoughts. I never thought about God or Jesus or anything other than myself. I got to a really unhealthy point where I was starving myself, I was malnourished, and I still looked in the mirror and thought I was fat, so I kept trying to lose more and more and more weight. It just consumed my thoughts, and my anxiety and depression came back. 
but almost even worse this time, and I would sleep like 16 hours a night. I would take so many naps. I was tired always. I was in California at this point, and like 90 degree weather, I was outside with a big comfy on and blankets around me shivering, and I lost my period. I didn't get my period for almost a year, and my body was shutting down, and I still thought I was fat, and I didn't care. I didn't care about my health. I just wanted to be skinny. <laughs> I mean, yeah, saying it seems so stupid, but it's it's a... An, Anorexia isn't just a health problem, it's a mental illness, and it consumed me. I started to get treatment for the anorexia, and it was hard. I went to this program that was like six hours a day. You had to eat breakfast with them, lunch with them, and you weren't allowed to like leave, or you, it was very strict. You weren't allowed to like drink water at a certain amount of time. You weren't allowed to do certain things. I wasn't allowed to work out at all, and it was, it was so hard, and I just wanted to give up, and I stopped that program. It was not working for me. And then I went to this other team, a private team. I got my own team, and I was just trying to do all this stuff by myself, and I was trying to get better by myself, and, and I was listening to a podcast, and this guy was talking about how he had, like, depression, anxiety, and all this stuff, just like I do, and he was talking about how law of attraction and chakra cleansing and healing has changed him and then I did a lot of research about manifestation and chakras and basically all these new world practices that don't depend on God at all. It's all dependent on you. It's all about you. And I got caught in that. I was trying to meditate to chakra cleanse, to try to be more balanced. And I was trying to control my destiny. And then I came across this video that was Christianity against like the chakras and med meditation and why it's like, why you shouldn't do that if you're a Christian. And I was like, what? Like, I didn't even think of it. Like, I still, I thought of myself as a Christian. I've always thought of myself as a Christian. I've always believed in God and Jesus. And I didn't want to do anything that's like against Christianity. So. I watched a lot of videos and I realized that I'm being pulled away from God and because I'm depending on myself to fix thing and fix things and not the Lord and at this time my brother was reading the Bible and I was like oh like that's cool like I want to try to start reading the Bible because I wanted to get closer to God and Jesus at this point in my life this was like a few months ago like I never re read the Bible I opened Genesis, and I originally thought, like, yeah, I'm going to read it front to back. So I read Genesis, I read then Exodus, Leviticus, but it didn't change me at this point. At this point, it still felt like a chore, and I was praying every night and trying to get closer to God, but it still felt like a chore. And then I came across on YouTube some teachings and preachers for of the gospel and it inspired me to just go and start reading the gospels and little did I know it would change me forever reading the gospel completely changed my view of the world the view of myself the view of others and how I treat people and just my purpose for so long I was so focused on myself and what people think of me, but I now know that none of that matters. The only thing that matters is what God thinks of you. My eyes were open to that and I realized that now. We are his children and he wants us to treat other people how we want to be treated. He doesn't care about our sex, race, age. He loves us because we are his 
children, and he wants his children to get along. He wants his children to love each other and to put each other first, and I now realize that. And God created us in his image, so we should love ourselves for that. One of the biggest things I worried about was the future, and am I wasting my life away now? Should I be doing this? Is it a waste of time? Should I give up YouTube? Should I do something else? Like. What if I never get married and just all these what ifs and worrying about the future? But this verse completely changed me. God doesn't want us to worry about our future and depend on ourselves to make things right. He wants us to depend on him because once we trust in him with all of our heart, he will lead our path. He will guide us because we can't do this alone. There are verses in the Bible talking about how not to worry about the future and just trust in God and live day by day. And the Bible also says not to conform to this world because people will hate and mock you and ridicule you for your faith. But just like Jesus said, remember when the world hates you, it hated me first. We shouldn't be living to please other people because it doesn't matter what other people think. I used to be so afraid of death and like, what if I die? What if I, what if this happens? And I'm not afraid of it anymore. I'm looking forward to that day where I can meet Jesus and I can live with him and spend eternity by his side in the kingdom of heaven, and that will be the best day of our lives when we get to meet him. I now realize that this life is not even a blink of an eye for what's to come. This is just setting us up for eternity. This is just a test to see what side we pick. People say, oh, I need to get my life together before I can start reading the Bible and before I can get a relationship with God. God wants you to turn to him no matter the point in life. He wants to help you when you are struggling. Jesus didn't come for the righteous. He came for the sinners. He came to help us and free us from our sins because we are all sinners. No matter how hard your life may be right now, no matter what you did, he wants you to turn to him because it's never too late. It's never too late to turn to him. And once you grow to love Jesus and God, following his commands and following his teachings won't be a chore. You will do it because you want to and because you love him. And don't get me wrong, you guys. Like, I'm not saying now I'm perfect and Jesus has saved me from my sin. He has saved me from my, my sin, but I still sin. I sin every day. I still argue with my parents. I still get mad. I still get worried. I am far from perfect. I am the least perfect, <laughs> but now I'm trying to stay away from sin. When I sin, I feel guilty. I feel terrible because I disappointed him. I want to grow my relationship with him and it no longer feels like a chore. I watch teachings on YouTube and I love to do it because I'm growing my relationship and understanding of Jesus and that's all that matters. So yes, I'm not perfect and I am a sinner just like every single person and we were gifted the greatest gift of all of salvation forgiveness for our sins well guys that is my testimony and how i came back to jesus and how i fully put all my trust in him and how it has radically changed my life thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys next week bye